Thank you, Scott, and good morning, everyone. Appreciate you coming to our seminar this morning. And uh, I'm going to spend my 10 minutes uh, talking about valor injury on peanut. Um, a lot of times during the spring of the year, especially when we get rainfall events, we do see a uh, valor injury. And so there's always some concern about what happens to the peanut crop when we get valor injury. So I'm going to share with you some of my experiences and some of the things we know about what happens to peanut. So before I start, it's just a quick reminder. If, if you grow peanuts, you know, you know very well how a beneficial valor has been to us in our management of pigweed. It's become one of the most popular peanut herbicides out there. You'll see in this slide, across the U.S., about 60% of our crop is treated with valor. I would estimate in Georgia, over 70% of our crop is getting treated with valor. Now, the thing that we have to remember, I think, whenever we use a herbicide, there's always a risk and a reward, right? There's always a risk of having injury that's unacceptable or or maybe a little bit more than you want, but there's always a great reward. And over the years, I've, as, as we've looked at peanuts that have been treated with Valor, you know, every once in a while, someone will leave Valor off and then we'll get a slide like this. So if you don't think Valor's doing anything good for you, here's just a perfect example where if you left the Valor out, how bad a problem would be. And um, that's over in Pierce County from our county agent over there. Here's another shot uh, in Sumter County. Again, if you leave it off, uh, you're really going to see how much the Valor brings to the table in terms of weed control. Now on the flip side, we have the injury issues. Uh, we've been looking at, I've been personally looking at Valor now for 20 years. I started spraying it in 1997. And uh, that's when, right around when it came out, it was released in 2001. And that first year, if you recall, when it came out in 2001, we had a lot of headaches. Uh, be, for a lot of different reasons and we saw all kind of injury and I probably between me and the people from Valen I probably walked every peanut acre in Georgia that had damage from Valor because it was something we hadn't seen and so it was a, a big concern and, it, and that's been occurring every year since 2001 when we use Valor on peanuts and we get rain depending upon when you plant it we're going to get injury and the issue is how much is that hurting our yield or not all right, so let's talk about Valor and, and why we recommend the rates and the timings that we do. If you look at the factors that affect Valor injury, there's several. There's rate, there's planting depth, there's the time of application, there's moisture around emergence, and then seed quality. You'll notice I have seed quality there as a question, as a question mark. I've always felt you know, that not every seed that's planted, not every peanut seed that planted is the same as we go across the different regions of the state. And I felt that as we have lower quality seed issues, we, we're likely to see more valor injury, especially when we get rain, uh, when they're coming out of the ground. And keep in mind, you know, I, I, this, this often troubles me sometimes when we push the label. You know, when you read the label and we tell, or the label says, plant an inch and a half deep, use three ounces, and don't apply it after two days after planting, there's good reasons why that those are all on the label. All those wrecks are designed to minimize the peanut's contact with potentially damaging levels of valor. And if you play around with those recommendations, you're gonna subject yourself to more potential to injury. Now, this past year, my phone started ringing off the hook about valor around this week, around May, around the, the middle of May. If you, if you remember back at that time, we, we had a significant rainfall event over a four day period. Right? And depending on where you are, I gotta put my glasses on, like in Douglas, they got six inches of rain, and Statesboro got six inches of rain over four days. And so if you had planted peanuts about five days earlier than that time frame, five to 10, then you were probably gonna see some valor injury that might have caused some heartburn. Now, the only thing I can tell you is over the years that we've been testing Valor, um, you know, we, when, when, you get, when growers get injury, I'm going to get injury as well. You know, and the advantage that I have, I have treated and untreated, and so I can compare what's happened in, some, in a lot of cases we don't see that in a grower's field because the whole field is going to be treated. And so this is from a study I did back many, several years ago uh, where we had significant rainfall. I try to keep track of the rainfall and when the peanuts were emerging so I can equate that to problems when I go look at them in the field. But you'll notice at this particular location, I've got six ounces of Valor out here. That's a 2x rate. That's some pretty sorry looking peanuts. And if you were a grower, you'd probably be like, man, I'm gonna, plow, I'm gonna replant that, or, or we used to think that, not so much anymore. But where we've got this damage, it's very significant. 
and you can see the amount of rainfall. Over a 30-day period, I got five inches of rainfall uh, when the peanuts were coming out of the ground. So, but, but for me, the most interesting is, well, how did that turn out in yield? And this is the yield data from that trial, and it's averaged over three varieties and six replications, and these were larger plots. You can see the six ounce rate, the picture that I showed you, did not cause a significant reduction in yield, even though we had all that injury. Right, so that's a good thing. And that's why over time, most times if I come and look at a problem and, and you haven't lost plants, I'm going to say, let it go. It's probably, it's going to be okay uh, as long as other bad things don't happen the rest of the year. All right, here's another trial. Again, I've got uh, multiple rates over multiple planting dates, and I don't get any yield loss when I get it. When I've seen injury, I'm not seeing statistical yield losses from where we didn't do anything. So I feel confident that in most situations when we see valor injury, uh, again, if we don't have a lot of other things that occur later in the year, we're going to be okay. I would remind you that our, our high yield growers in Georgia, 86% um, of those growers are using valor, and those guys are consistently making our, some of our highest yields in the state, a lot of times at 7,000 pounds in, in some of those growers, and they're using valor in those fields as well. So I'm going to, uh, Scott asked this to be brief, so I'm just going to remind you as we can go, go forward with this, if we're going to use Valor and Peanut, plant high quality seed at least an inch and a half deep, apply three ounces no later than two days after planting. I would prefer that you irrigate it immediately after, after uh, application if you are an irrigated grower. If it rains, that emerges. I don't care what we do, whatever we do, rate, whatever, it doesn't matter. If it rains when those peanuts are coming out of the ground, you're going to see injury. 100% of the time, and it's a risk versus reward. Our data suggests that if we haven't lost plants, you're going to, your yield should be fine. All right? But we've got, got to realize if we use Valor, it's a risk versus a reward. We get great weed control, but we, we're always going to have that potential for injury at emergence.